The plan to close the Abuja airport for six weeks for maintenance has continued to generate reaction even among residents of the nation's capital. Well, this week's edition of Focus on the F-City looks at the planned closure of the Abuja airport. The Namde Azikiwe International Airport became operational in 1982 when the construction of the runway was completed. It serves the nation's capital and is the busiest in the country after Lagos Airport. At the time of commissioning the runway, civil engineers put the lifespan of the runway at 20 years, after which a total and comprehensive rehabilitation ought to be done. 14 years after, that is yet to be. It's a lot of work, 24 hours, day and night. Not a single second will pass without work going on on that runway for six weeks. And don't forget, it's a, it's a six month construction period, but there's a critical six weeks when we're trying to fix the center of the runway itself. We have no other option but to close it because the entire structure of the runway is gone bad. I've said that before. The Federal Executive Council gave an approval for the runway to undergo maintenance. The approval came with a proposal to close the facility for six weeks. But what does this mean to residents of the nation's capital? Coming from Kaduna, we will definitely spoil development in Kaduna area. Quite a number of people will definitely have to move to Kaduna and then development will definitely be improved. But if you look at the aspect of convenience, if you look at the aspect of safety, if you look at the aspect of other things to consider, then we're not considering the development aspect. If I go to Kaduna, apart from the time it's going to take me to get to Kaduna, if I get um, a delay or a postponement of my flight, that's an extra cost on me because I may be forced to use the hotel, I may be forced to start coming back to Abuja. And I, I think for me, uh, this is uh, this is very unfair. I know it's going to affect a lot of business people in Abuja, but it's also an avenue for people to know the good place in Kaduna. Most people don't know Kaduna, and it will be an atmosphere for Kaduna business to expand. So I see it as a great deal. I don't. I, the inconveniences and every other thing that will come in will definitely affect people, but it's a plus for Kaduna. In other developed societies, while development projects such as this is going on, other activities of economic design are still going on. So why not move this uh, project to the night, even if it is on a slower pace, rather than a total closure of the airport? It is not safe, especially for Nigeria, when we are battling with serious security uh, issues in the country, especially with activities going on even in Kaduna. The government is taking steps to address all concerns and put in place the necessary logistics to ensure safety of air travelers into Abuja. We intend to make provision for the anticipated number of arrivals and departures. We have looked at the arrivals and departures critically will further sit with the airlines within next week. We have their schedule. We know the major departing points, which are Lagos and Port Harcourt. Uh, we know when they arrive. We know also the departures of international and their arrivals. We considered and factored all of that to ensure that as the plane arrives, we're able to process the passengers and take them to these buses with escorts military and police and civil defense, etc., will escort them to um, either the train station or metropolitan Abuja. Um, so there will be issues of where passengers will cluster together and uh, wait for us. Already, government is planning to spend $5.8 for the repair of the runway. But in the meantime, another 1.1 billion naira will be spent on logistics for the relocation of the Kaduna Airport.
Well, thank you, Phil Mills, as always. Please keep sending in your views and comments using the email address and Twitter handle on your screen. Also, be sure to share anything happening within your locality. And don't forget, you can view the program on youtube.com forward slash channels web forward slash videos. Make a comment on any of the videos and don't forget to include your name and location. Well, thank you for watching this week. I'm Gloria Umezuki.